Nothing on Earth can compare to the monstrous alien sandworms of Dune, right? How about a brightly colored predator that can sense when danger is near? Or a disgusting bug that's a natural born killer? Has this got you wondering what else is out in the wild you really need to know more about? Here are eight of the creepiest, crawliest creatures lurking right under your feet. Coming in at number eight, Mouse Spider. Why not start this off with an eight-legged ambusher usually found lurking beneath the sandy surface of Australia's coastal regions? The mouse spider looks like the arachnid equivalent of a weightlifter, with its three centimeter long body equipped with short muscular legs. Instead of crunches, its workout usually involves lining a burrow with silk, then equipping it with a carefully constructed trap door. Uh, why the secretive entrance? Mouse spiders and their sizable fangs live underground to avoid hot weather and predators. But the trap door enables them to lunge onto unsuspecting prey strolling past. Fortunately for us, they aren't usually aggressive toward humans. Usually. Their future dinner, however, is doomed to a death by fang crushing. Sneaking in at number seven, Antlion. What is shaped like an arrowhead, armed with long pincers, and leaves its victims a crumpled corpse of just skin? Why, it's the antlion, a predatory insect found around the world that's an absolute terror in its larval stage. Adult antlions are incapable of feeding, so Junior here needs to do all the nutrient gorging it can. As a youngster, it uses its abdomen to reverse bulldoze the sand behind it, creating a small pit where it can nearly bury itself. Except for those pincers. Those stay just above the surface, ready to snatch its prey, so the antlion can then literally eat it from the inside out. Hopping in at number six, Spadefoot Toad. The Spadefoot Toad and its shovel-like hind feet live in a variety of climates, if by living you mean spending months at a time underground waiting for rain so it can surface to breed in puddles. It looks more like a small, wide-eyed frog than a toad. Oh, and it sounds like a sheep, by the way. It also wraps itself in its own dead skin as protection from its dry subterranean surroundings. While this crazy creature might be considered cute, our next selection will make you want to stay out of the water forever. Lunging into number five, Razor Clam. This edible mollusk sounds dangerous, but it's actually named after its resemblance to the closed blades of an old school straight razor. What's impressive is its ability to use a fluid filled foot to help it burrow at a speed of 20 centimeters per minute. Like a dune sandworm, it's also hypersensitive to vibrations. Instead of an above ground death lunge, the razor clam digs itself further into the ground. If you happen to live close to a sandy beach anywhere between Alaska and California, you can see a razor clam up close by dumping a little salt into the key-shaped hole it leaves behind at low tide. Wait a few seconds and voila, dinner is served. Coming in at number four, lungfish. How can something as big as the six species of lungfish, some of which can weigh as much as 10 kilograms with a length of two meters, manage to live primarily in the water, but also hide on land? When you have both gills and primitive lungs, anything is possible. Found in the shallows of rivers and lakes across Australia, Africa, and South America, lungfish need to occasionally surface for air. When the dry season comes along and rivers turn into slick stretches of mud, this cannibalistic creature slithers headfirst into the sludge and enters a state of dormancy known as dry sleep. While underground, or under mud, it makes a meal out of the muscle in its tail. Huh. Slithering into number three, Peringue's Adder. What the Peringue's adder lacks in size, it makes up for in smarts. 
At 25 centimeters in length, there are larger snakes in the Namib Desert, but the side-winding Peringue has figured out the best way to travel across scorching hot sand is to barely touch it. This S motion also helps it bury itself under the sand, where it can not only cool down, but also keep its eye open for its next meal. Camouflaged and armed with toxic venom, when it does strike, it's looking for reptiles that not only provide it with chewy lizard legs, but also much needed H2O. Winding its way to number two, bobbit worm. If the sandworms of Dune freak you out, the nocturnal bobbit worm and its crown of five antennae might keep you up at night. Usually found burrowing on the sea floor at depths of up to 40 meters, it's capable of inflicting a nasty venomous bite with not one, but two sets of retractable jaws, wider than its body, that can cut its usual fishy prey in two. There's also the unsettling news that these predators, which can reach a length of three meters, are known to catch a lift on corals and live in home aquariums for years before being discovered. If you wake up one morning wondering where your guppies went, start looking very carefully for a bobbit worm. And finally at number one, king ragworm. We started this episode off with eight legs. Now we're gonna go big and finish with hundreds. In this case, it's the parapodia of the king ragworm. They're usually helping these brightly colored royalty of shallow brackish waters slink through muddy sediment while they scavenge for their next meal. Armed with a mouth full of teeth resembling pincers that have been known to painfully bite humans, the king ragworm can grow over one meter long. If its two sets of eyes weren't enough of a defense system, it can also detect the chemical signals from predators. What would you rather test your luck against? Dune sandworms might be building sized, but these earthly underground dwellers definitely have them beat when it comes to originality in the game of survival. It's easy to be distracted by the world directly in front of you, but don't forget there are entire ecosystems under your feet thriving with some of the oddest and downright weirdest animals that have evolved to make life just below the surface their comfort zone. Burrowing underground and lunging at prey in the blink of an eye. That's what some of these subterranean creatures do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.